You may wonder why you are looking at images of modern architecture, limestone quarries and building construction sites. Well, the reason is almost all man-made building structures throughout the world use concrete in their construction. Concrete has the largest carbon footprint of any man-made material on the planet. Good quality cement is the binding agent in all concrete mixes. The first cement used was wet clay, and still is in a few remote parts of the world. The Egyptians made cement by mixing limestone, clay and gypsum, which they used to bind stones together. The Greeks and then the Romans continued to develop the process to build their structures. The remains of the Greco-Roman amphitheatre in Sicily is an example of their improved cement, which was used in the mortar and concrete. But it was here in Leeds that Joseph Aspdin, a local bricklayer, made the most important discovery, and became known as the man who invented Portland cement. He lived in this yard known at the time a slip-in yard, now renamed Albion Place. Most of us walk past this commemorative plaque and never notice it. Aspden had actually rediscovered how the Romans had made cement and concrete. He improved the quality using similar materials, but it was his methods and proportions that created the cement formula that made the difference. He experimented with limestone which he crushed before mixing it with clay and then burning it. The resulting clinker was then ground to a fine powder and mixed with gypsum to control the setting time. When he achieved the quality of cement he was striving for, he patented his formula in 1824 and kept it a closely guarded secret. He chose the name Portland because it matched the colour of Portland stone. Joseph expanded his production by setting up cement works on the banks of the Thames at Rotherhithe with his sons James and William. William became acquainted with Isambard Kingdom Brunel who was building the Thames Tunnel at the time. Part of the tunnel had collapsed because of the use of cheap inferior cement. Brunel bought tons of Aspen's Portland cement and poured it into the Thames at the point of the leak and successfully sealed the hole. The tunnel was then drained and restarted using Aspen's cement exclusively. This project put Portland cement on the worldwide map and established its reputation as the best quality cement available. Joseph died in 1855 and both sons continued to develop the business before going into partnership with others. Joseph left a legacy for the architects of the time 
to create the Victorian splendour of the Corn Exchange sited in the Exchange Quarter of Leeds, and of course the beautiful Victorian arcades in the centre of the city.